Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about the O-1 visa and specifically the processing times for an O-1 visa in 2024. My name is Yalda Hajabi and I focus my practice primarily on employment-based immigration and family-based immigration. Today I want to talk to you about the O-1 visa. So brief background about the O-1 visa. It is available to individuals that show extraordinary ability in their fields and by doing so they get to come to the United States on a non-immigrant visa, so temporarily, to work for their U.S.-based employer who's also also the petitioner in the case. So the foreign national is the beneficiary of the O-1, the U.S.-based employer is the petitioner. To qualify for an O-1, you need to meet specific criteria outlined in the regulations. The fields that it's available to is pretty widespread. I've actually been seeing influencers getting O-1 visas, so entertainers, influencers, but also the researchers, physicians, business owners, people in business, and and so forth. The processing times for the O-1 is every lawyer's favorite answer to a question, which is, it depends. So depending on whether you premium process the case or go through regular processing, the amount of time that it will take the government to adjudicate your O-1 visa will vary. So if individuals premium process their case, the O-1 visa, which is accompanied by a form called I-129, will be adjudicated within 15 days. However, there's a hefty filing fee that goes to the government that comes with that and with the recent fee changes it comes out to two thousand eight hundred and five dollars to premium process the case if the foreign national and the employer doesn't need or decide that it's not necessary for them to premium process the case and i've been seeing cases get adjudicated anywhere between two to four months under current processing times but getting the i-129 approved is not the only step the foreign nationals that are particular abroad so they're not renewing their o-1 it's a new o-1 visa that's not the only step that they have to complete they also need to go to a consulate it, do an interview and then get their O-1 visa stamp in their passport and that really varies it really depends on the consulate certain countries are more backlogged than others so of course you want to be on a lookout for that there's always an option to expedite a O-1 visa and the expedite request would be that this foreign national has a employment start date that starts on x date and year so we really need them to come to the U.S. as soon as possible and hopefully it would go through. If the foreign national is applying in a consulate that's not their home country, then they're typically going to be waiting in line longer and there's a variety of reasons why if someone would do that. So their country doesn't have a U.S.-based consulate because of lack of political relationships between the U.S. and the foreign country, or they no longer reside in their home country and fear of going back. So there's all sorts of factors that go into play with this, but I would definitely, if the option is there for the foreign national, start by looking at the consulate in the home country and then going from there. So no clear answer exactly about how long the entire higher process will take. There's definitely a range. So if you premium process within 15 days and typically interviews come around within a month, again, that really depends on the consulate at the specific country. If the foreign national doesn't wish to premium process, they go under regular processing times. It's a little bit longer to get the case adjudicated two to four months. And then again, looking for a interview at the consulate. So I hope that was helpful and I look forward to making more videos for you in the future. Thank you.